I am pleased to be here. And um, hopefully I'll give you an interesting and exciting presentation on exactly what Bermuda Economic Development Corporation is, what we do, and how we help Bermuda's local business sector. So, I always begin by asking, what is entrepreneurship? I'm sure we have a lot of entrepreneurs in this room, but essentially it is the capacity and willingness to undertake conception, organization, and management of a productive venture with all attendant risks while seeking profit as a reward. So it's important to mention that, you know, as an entrepreneur, we're dealing with profit. Um, we have social entrepreneurs that deal with the nonprofit world, and our focus is to really look at those businesses that are profitable, or how can we make existing businesses more profitable? I'm actually facilitating an online course with MIT through a partnership with the US Consulate General, um, and it's called Entrepreneurship 101, Who is Your Customer? And the actual professor overseas at MIT has this saying, you know, let's just agree that there, there's no entrepreneurship gene. You know, people are not born for entrepreneurship. It can actually be taught. Um, some people have an innate ability to take an idea and make it into a business. Others need to have support and advice in order to make that business dream a reality. So BDC was established in 1980 by the Bermuda Banks and the government to actively assist the development of a strong, well-managed, and prosperous local business sector in Bermuda. It actually was called Bermuda Small Business Development Corporation until 2011. And then we had an expanded remit where we actually brought on economic empowerment zones and medium-sized businesses, and hence expanding our remit to be called BDC. Um, we provide existing and potential small business and medium-sized business owners with business advice, as well as financial assistance. So I just wanted to give you a couple of our definitions. A small business in Bermuda is this defined as one that is owned and managed it operates locally, it has an annual gross payroll not exceeding 500000 or it has an annual sales revenue of less than $1 million. I mean, and this is an appropriate definition for Bermuda's context as opposed to what might be a small business in other jurisdictions or overseas. In 2011, when we actually expanded our remit, we found that there were businesses that were small that had actually transitioned to a larger size. They're not large international companies, but they actually have you know, a fair amount of employees. And so in our act, a medium-sized business is defined, once again, as Bermudian owned and, and owned operated. Um, and it must have at least three of these following attributes. So a gross annual revenue between a million and five million, an annual payroll between 500,000 and 2.5 million, it has to have between 11 and 50 employees. It has to be in operation for over 10 years and has net assets of less than two and a half million. And actually, we found in doing a survey that there was a significant amount of businesses in Bermuda that actually qualified as medium-sized business. We identified roughly 400. We did a survey. Um, and currently, we have an active list on our register of about 100. So what exactly does BEDC do? Well, we do all of this. I mean, at the core, we provide general business and technical advice. Someone has an idea, they want to know how to execute it. So we can provide um, business plan advice, we can go through their cash flow numbers, we can do projections. Um, we have a core program called our Loan Guarantee Program, where we actually provide a security or a guarantee for business owners who don't have enough collateral with a banking institution to get a full loan. Um, we manage what is called economic empowerment zones. So the, right now there are three island-wide, St. George's, Somerset, and Northeast Hamilton. Um, we assist the construction industry. Um, we have a development program um, where we saw 90 contractors or small business uh, in the construction field go through an intensive development program. We manage vendor markets, and right now we have three island-wide the Old Town Market in St. George's, the Hidden Treasures Market in Somerset, and the Rubber Tree Market in Warwick. And essentially, we developed those markets because we found that even though people might want to have a brick and mortar shop front or a business, there is also an opportunity for people to develop their business either from a micro enterprise perspective. 
Can you take an idea and test it out at a smaller level? We're getting ready to do our second phase of a retail development incubator program, focusing on the retail sector and what are the support and services that retail businesses need in order to be the best they can be. And we recently announced last year, late last year, a microloan program in partnership with Capital G to provide small amounts of financing um, to businesses. So in terms of general business and technical advice, I'm not going to go through all of this, but as I said, we do do business plan development. We can assist businesses in marketing and communication. We definitely provide advice and support with regard to relevant taxes and government regulations, and if businesses find themselves um, in some types of stressful situations, we can act as a facilitator between the government and those businesses to arrange payment plans. We, we look at lease arrangements. We help businesses negotiate and leverage for the best kind of lease options for themselves. Um, and at the end of it, it's all about how to help the business be the best that they can be, how to reduce their costs, how to provide opportunities and assets, um, and we're here to provide that advice. We also have a resource library. I think this is a little known um, information to the public, but we have an extensive library that con contains videos and tapes and books and periodicals, anything about small business and medium-sized businesses that is free for the public to access um, in, our, in our office on Church Street. We also pay, play this key role in actually being a liaison between key organizations and institutions. So we have an ongoing relationship with the three financial institutions in Bermuda. We can facilitate preferential rates and terms with various firms, with accountancy firms, with legal firms, um, with communication firms. And our, and our thing is that you know we don't consider any question to be unimportant. We are committed to providing free, accessible support and advice to entrepreneurs in order to really build that sector in Bermuda and, and grow the economy. So, you know, I've told you a little bit about what we do. Um, people always ask, well, well, I have a business idea. How do I actually finance it? And I mean, there are many, many ways, and these are just some of them. Um, and I just highlight this, you know, you can do it from personal financing, you can have a relationship with a financial institution, you can have a relationship with someone to partner or invest in your business, or there are also government incentives or partnerships or programs that allow businesses to start up. I just want to talk about three of the programs specifically that BEDC provides. Um, and I think that, you know, this offers some real tangible options for the public. I mentioned that we have a loan guarantee program, and this is probably one of our longest standing um, programs. We can act as a guarantor for a small business loan, um, and we can provide up to 50% of that bank loan up to a $200,000 maximum. So if someone went to actually get a $400,000 business loan from the bank and they didn't have enough security or collateral, they can actually come to us and apply and we can act as that guarantor for half of that loan. We also have arrangements for preferential rates and terms um, for businesses that either exist or start up in our economic and common zones. So we currently have a partnership with HSBC and Butterfield Bank. Um, and each of those banks have allocated certain amount of dollars with regard to providing loans or, or financial lending to businesses, commercial, or other types of um, commercial type lending within those, those designated EEZs. We also have a payroll tax concession that allows businesses to take an advantage of um, a reduction in payroll tax for up to nine tax periods. And this is really to incentivize businesses to look at our EEZs as viable places to do business. Um, and then we also have an, an arrangement for customs duty deferment up to five years on capital projects and capitalization that would be a benefit to our EEZs. Just on our new kind of financial product and our relationship and partnership with Capital G, we were finding that a lot of small businesses needed to have access to small amounts of cash, but you know the banks 
in and of itself didn't find it financially viable to write these types of business. And so we negotiated a partnership with Capital G for small amounts of money for businesses to be able to take out small loans to purchase either inventory or capital items that are directly tied to making a real tangible difference with regard to profit and revenues in their business. And as you can see, it's between 2000 and 7500 The loans are fully guaranteed 100% by BEDC, and it's for startup as well as existing small businesses. And I think for the first time, it's also a product that's applicable to vendors, people that don't have a shop front or don't have an established office, but paddle or do vendor and business in Bermuda. So I just wanted to kind of close. I've told you about some of the services that we offer, um, some of the things that we do, and I just wanted to highlight some of our numbers in 2013. We currently have a business register that contains almost 5,800 small businesses, as well as 82 medium-sized businesses in Bermuda. Last year, we met with 780 people who were interested in starting a business, and that really has been a significant increase over 2012. And I think that that has been a result of actually the economy as people find themselves maybe underemployed or unemployed, they turn to entrepreneurship as a way to make a living. And we've, we call those people necessity entrepreneurs. Last year, unfortunately, we were only able to write two of our guarantee products. Um, and I think this is, this is definitely aligned with the economy. Um, you know, the banks have a portfolio of non-performing loans. And so, you know, they're very risk averse with regard to writing additional. Um, but the prospects for this year are looking much better. We've, we've actually approved some in the first few months, and, and I think we'll be able to hit our target. We carried a loan portfolio of 57 guarantees last year, which is 3.3 million in loan guarantees. And this supported 8.3 million in bank finance, which is pretty you know, significant. However, that only accounted for 51% of our loan guarantee book. We have the capacity to guarantee up to $6 million or to, to provide $6 million in, in loan guarantee funds, and right now we're only hitting 50%. So there's an untapped capacity with regard to providing services and support for businesses, small businesses, medium-sized businesses. Our microloan facility is taking root, and we've approved four, and we have several in the pipeline. And I think in closing, between May and December of 2013, we saw 20 new businesses open in our economic empowerment zones, which provided 43 and a half new jobs. My last slide is just some of the characteristics of entrepreneurship, because you've heard what we can provide, but do you have the actual um, ability, the, 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 the competence, the, the, the riverfall to actually become an entrepreneur? So, you know, organization, motivation, honesty, perseverance, vision, adaptability, competitiveness, risk-taking, confidence, persuasiveness, you know, those are all some of the characteristics that make entrepreneurs successful. So thank you for having me. I, I hope I gave some really interesting information about Bermuda Economic Development Corporation and the services that we provide. And, you know, if you want to reach us, you can do so at 292-5570 or go to our website, bdc.bm or email us at info at bdc.bf. Thank you.